Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to the finale of the February 2020 Worms Reloaded series here. We finish things off with another match between Deathwish808 and a load of crap. You'll remember back though to the previous episode that Deathwish has already tied the series up, going to the final three matches here with a 21-point lead with only 18 points available. This one is just for fun, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm sure the action will be as intense as ever, and uh, the competitors are about ready to go, so let's Let's jump over to the arena and see who is going to come out on the top for the pride. Okay. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Match number one. Commentary from myself, Knock. And let's see who the game decides is going to play first here. We haven't got a pit. It's a load of crap with the high left worm here. Are you ready? You better believe it. Here we go. And um, let's have a quick look around at the geometry. Doesn't seem to be as many mines and things um, around the worms. There's Deathwish's um, most left worm here that's surrounded by a few mines and some uh, barrels. So that worm is definitely got to watch itself. We see an early bazooka shot here from a load of crap on the explosive barrel. The mine teeter totters above Deathwish's worm as well for the extra damage. That is a big hit of 59 to get this match underway and um like i say a load of crap here just praying playing for pride uh with death wish wrapping up the series with that impressive four win streak in the previous uh sitting shall we say from those match six matches from the 20th death wish went on a four win streak to take the series just when we thought a load of crap was going to uh actually just Come back into it with all to play for in this final. It wasn't to be. Deathwish here, though, with the grenade on his leftmost worm. I think he's going to try and put it between the worm and the explosive barrel. Does indeed. That fire, though, is it going to come back? It's not. It's going to rain down some fire damage on a load of crap's worm. Big fire damage. 55 damage. And um, Deathwish uh, is only four hit points now behind a load of crap in the early stages here. 55. Back to a load of crap here. And as we have seen so many times of a load of crap, you've got to feel sorry for him. He always seems to get these worms that are boxed in and that you cannot do a lot with. So uh, I don't think we're going to see a lot of action here from this worm in particular. And um, so rightly so, we move over to a Deathwish 808. Onto the right-hand side of the map here, he has two on the right here. One central and one on the left. Um, not really a lot of options for manoeuvring this worm around. He's going to just try and loft a nice little cheeky one up. Backfires. Luckily, there was some pixels there to protect his center worm. I think he was just trying to loft that uh, bazooka shot up there in between the worm and the mine. Bit of a risky move. The mine could have quite easily been dislodged and fallen itself back on that worm of Deathwish. But uh, he lives to fight another day. As we now deal with a load of crap with the center left worm here. He's got three worms on the left of the map here. So, um, the right-hand side, I don't think we're going to see much action. So, Deathwish, once again, he's got worms around these mines here. Let's see what a load of crap can do. I'm assuming it's going to be a little bazooka shot here. And now he's changing his mind. Actually, he's going high, he's going low. He can't quite make up his mind which worm he's going to go for halfway through the turn here. And um, he hits the mine. The worm gets sent left. The mine gets sent right. So that is just going to be uh, bazooka damage, and it's only 24. Not a very accurate shot, unfortunately, from a load of crap. Um, it probably would have liked to have seen a lot more damage there. We're back with Deathwish now with his middle worm. We can do some backflipping out of this little uh, this little pit here. Is that enough for him, or is he going to go high? I think he's going to stick with this. He's got the bazooka out. He's got two wind with him. He's readjusting and it looks like he's now going to go for worms on the other side. May see a switch out to a grenade here. Does have the wind against him halfway through the turn here. Got to make up his mind pretty soon. It is a bazooka shot. It lofts quite nicely onto a load of craps worm. We've got some after damage there. The fire dance should kill off a load of craps worm. The big thing here is though, um, will Deathwish's worm suffer? Also, the mine is teetering in the bottom left there and causes extra damage. So... Um, will Deathwish Worm survive this death animation? It does indeed. He is still on a 48 health, it looks like. But uh, yeah, that mine in that lower left corner there. Teeter tottering around. I don't know where it came from. It must have come from the top of the brolly. It must have got flung towards the left when that shot hit. 
But um, yeah, three worms damaged in that confrontation there, and we have lost our first worm. It's advantage Deathwish with a four on three advantage. Back to a load of crap here with his rightmost worm. He's going to potentially go bazooka. Um, unfortunately, though, he did not go high enough, and he caught the top of that bottle, and uh, only one health damage there on Deathwish's worm, thanks to a little bit of splatter damage. Deathwish now with his worm on the far right there. Easy bazooka shot. Just sends a load of craps worm down. Lucky though, again, once again with the mine. You've got to be very careful with these mines. There's a lot of mines in precarious positions here, and that could have quite easily rolled off to the right-hand side of that uh, roll of turf there. Excuse me. And um, affected Deathwish's worm sort of mid-right there. But we're back with a load of crap. His high left worm, what can he do here? I would think possibly dropping a grenade down on that 48 worm down below. Looks like he's going to try and bank it off the ceiling here. He's got a five second timer, giving him plenty of side to adjust. Lucky bounce. I didn't think that was going to work out for him. He gets a very lucky bounce. Unfortunately, though, the radius of that damage doesn't quite go low enough to create a pit of water. But that worm is looking rather vulnerable with only five health. He steps up to the Oki now. Though. Let's see what he can do. Probably should say she can do because this worm is called your mom according to the game. The grenade is in the air. Unfortunately for Deathwish, the bouncing around, I can see what he was trying to do with one of those sort of exploding kind of when the grenade gets parallel to the worm. Unfortunately, it bounced a little bit too low. The time was a bit too long and uh, there is no damage incurred on that turn. A load of crap here. Are we going to see another jump rope turn here? Not really sure what else he can do. He could potentially try and use a bazooka on that side wall to sort of tunnel into Deathwish's worm. I don't think I think that worm could be dead before uh, he actually gets another chance. So he's not going to lose too much here. Let's see what he does. He only needs five damage. Is the wall thin enough? Let's see. It is not thin enough. Unfortunately, he doesn't incur any damage. But looks like a saving grace there for a load of crap. Is there is still a very fine line of pixels in between those two worms. So even if Deathwish Worm does get a chance to fire before a load of crap does, um, I don't think he's going to be able to capitalize on that at all. Deathwish now with his mid right worm here. Uh, not really a lot of options. He can't really backflip because of that um, that point there on those pixels. But um, he did try. Now, it's going to be an interesting shot. I don't think he's got a lot here. He's going to have to go for the center worms, I think, but he's got. To, I don't think he's going to be able to play this without damaging his own. He's still looking for options. He's going to take out that pixel, I think, and plan for future rounds. Takes a bit of damage himself, 18 damage, but that will allow him now to move a little bit more to the right and bring him a bit more into play. It was always going to be a risky shot if he went for those middle worms. Like I said, with those two worms being so close together, he would have for sure incurred some damage, and potentially his worm is in within a sort of one-hit direct shot um, range of actually dying as well. So probably the wise thing to do there was to take out some uh, scenery and try and uh, look for a better shot. Although I don't think this worm is going to last much longer. A load of crap there with the direct shot onto a mine we're going to see a bit of overkill here knocks down that mine to the worm it's going to be a double kill double kill from a load of crap what a shot i was not expecting that at all but let's take another look at that one on an instant replay he may have already lost the series but a load of crap is not going out without a fight the initial rock bazooka shot here fires the worm directly onto that mine and then the explosion from that mine actually knocks the other mine further down to the five worm down below and directly onto that worm that is always going to be a death death by drowning but that is a good double kill and like i say a load of crap is certainly not going down here without a fight The pendulum of worms reloaded swings in the favor for once of a load of crap. He takes a three on two worm advantage here. And uh, it's almost turning into a uh, cross map warfare here. We've got worms on the left and right, one in the center. But um, things could start to get a little bit strategic here in this map. A little over 10 minutes left on the match timer here. And um, as you can see, a load of crap has his his lower left worm is is 
in big, big trouble here as Deathwish tries a cross map bazooka shot, which goes a little bit too low. But yeah, that bottom worm has nowhere to go now. He is surrounded by water. What can he do? He can only really take away some of the scenery and hope that um, he can actually get some more direct shots here. But um, a load of crap here with his high left worm. He has a one win against with him, sorry, not against him. That's a good shot. A bit of splatter damage, low on the bottle, causes 19 there. Chipping away at Deathwish's health, he's on 168 in total. A load of crap is surely going to be feeling pretty smug about himself, knowing that he has the one worm advantage here. But a long way to go in this map, especially if we're going to have to, if we're going to see some cross map shots as Deathwish now. Takes advantage of what he did with this worm on the previous shot, taking away that pointed uh, pixel area. Switching out to a grenade here. I think we're going to see an attack on the 59 worm here. I don't think he's, he's not going to be able to kill him, but he could take a sizable chunk of damage, assuming he can get a pretty direct shot with this grenade. It's up. It's a little bit too far, though. It bounces, and um, it's nowhere near a load of crap. Bit of a wasted shot, but again... There's not necessarily a wasted shot in Worms. You you take a shot and you learn and then you can readjust and re-aim on your subsequent turn with that Worm. It's a lot about learning as much as it is skill with Worms sometimes. So let's see what a load of crabs can do as I rightly predicted. He's just going to have to try and take away that scenery to bring this Worm into play. He cannot move this Worm anywhere. He's in a very vulnerable position, definitely, if, if any sort of grenade or bazooka can get in there and just take away a slight bit of that scenery it will drop him into the water i think the saving grace for him is it's going to be an awkward shot for deathwish 808 as he um aims for a bazooka shot the mine is rolling but the uh, the edge of the scenery there prevents it um the brolly there in the lower left for a load of crap is not really very favorable for a shot from Deathwish 808, you've got to say he is pretty well protected down there. So it's going to take a pretty amazing shot from Deathwish, I think, if he wants to attack that lower left worm. Although, saying that, if we are playing a game of chess and it does get long and drawn out and we end up in sudden death, that is going to be the first worm to go because he is right on the waterline there. A load of crap, though, with his central worm here. He's got a three-second grenade in his hand. It's up in the air. Oh, come on. And uh, once again, it's in that area just below that bowl that he's been sort of finding his shots going into just the, the last few turns. Deathwish with a grenade in return there. It bounced a little bit too much. A two-second timer may have been a different story there, but um, I think he, he definitely learnt... And that was, that was a lot closer to the worm than on his previous attempt. So let's see what he can do when that worm gets another go oh, in on. two turns for now from Deathwish. Lodi Crap with the wind against him here. He's going to have to switch it out to a grenade. Uh, Bazooka isn't going to cut it. He's switching out to a four-second timer. And uh, that isn't going to be a bad shot. Actually, it's going to definitely knock the worm. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't put the worm off the edge that one of those worms from Deathwish once again with those suction cups hanging on for its dear life because um, I think if that had uh, knocked it down that would have been a good chunk of damage because the worm would have interacted with the mine and uh, that would have been Shyanara. Looks like Deathwish is going to try and chip away at the top of that uh, area there with that lower worm of a load of crap. I think that's uh, the wise mistake, uh, wise choice, not wise mistake, wise choice by Deathwish. He's certainly, like I said, not going to be able to get a a shot um, in the open area. I think a load of crap even is going to actually struggle to get a shot out of here. He's going to have to kind of try and take out a little bit more geometry. He's switched out to a grenade here, but I don't think it's going to be enough. It's going to bounce off there and just find itself in the drink. Yeah, I, you could kind of tell from the angle that he, he needs to take away. I would have chosen a bazooka there and tried to take out maybe some of the um, roll of turf there. I know it's going to put him in a compromised position for Deathwish and, and open it up a bit for Deathwish, but I still think he's got enough protection from that Broly um, to be safe. Deathwish here adjusting the angle and dropping it to a suit second time. Let's see if he can get the bounce just right on this turn. Third time lucky, perhaps. And uh, <laughs> he catches the alcove in the ceiling. The grenade was just floating in the air. It didn't seem to want to come down. Uh, I think even if we were a longer timer, it would have bounced and uh, not really done much. So... Adjusting the angle didn't seem to be the right thing. However, 
Deathwish has had that worm moved in between turns, so it's not always an easy shot, and he just needs to get his bearings again with that worm in that new position. A load of crap now with the central worm. He has the wind with him. I think we're probably going to see a bazooka shot. Doesn't need a lot of power. Just loft it in the air, and the wind should do the rest. But that is too low. The mine is going to roll back down. Luckily, it bounces over his head, and um, at least Deathwish... Uh, doesn't have to worry about that mine dropping on his head now, thanks to a load of craps actions. But um, very, very lucky to get away with that. Not very often you see a mine bouncing so close to a worm and uh, you getting away with it. Deathwish there with the beautifully direct hit on the bazooka there. Lofted quite nicely over that roll of turf. The direct 45 damage, reducing that worm to 14 health. And uh, I think that's going to be the next worm that we see to go in this competition. Didn't really line it up too much either. He just sort of pulled out the bazooka and went for the shot. And uh, it was a good decision. 6.30 left on the match timer here. As this game of chess continues to pan out a little bit more. Let's see what we can do here. A load of crap with the cross map shot. He's finally got rid of that bottle and caused a little bit of splatter damage to that high right worm of Deathwish 808. We might see a um, that worm getting a bit more involved in the action now that uh, those defenses have been loved. Um, Deathwish there just trying to loft the grenade up and let it roll down. It was only a two second timer and the grenade just kind of sat. It didn't carry on any momentum towards the left hand side of the, the map and uh, a load of craps worms so unfortunately for Deathwish uh, that is not going to be a successful attempt. Let's see what uh, a load of crap does here though. Is he going to pull out that bazooka and try and take out some of this uh, scenery? He's adjusted his worm. He's brought him a little further to the water's edge here. So maybe he's going to try a grenade. He's switching out to a five second timer. Maybe he thinks he's found a better angle this time. He does indeed. Although this could be catastrophic for himself. Luckily, the grenade rolls back just at the last minute and pre and prevents his worm from taking any damage. But I did think for a moment there he was going to be killing his own worm and bringing it down to a two-on-two. Deathwish now with the wind against him. That is going to be enough, though, to bring it to the two-on-two. -two. Even with a four wind against him, he pretty much had the angle from the previous shot. And uh, it's certainly a game on now. For this game of worms. What can Deathwish do though with that 65 worm? I don't think he's got enough of an angle here to be attacking any either of a load of craps uh, worms on the left here. So is has Deathwish got enough to jump over that mine, gain a bit of height and um, scale up that right hand side? A good shot there from a load of crap as we rightly predicted. With that bottle gone that really exposes that worm to a few more shots um, and a good chunk of damage there taken from Deathwish's worm pushes him further up the hill and nearer to the barrel so if uh, a load of crap could, if that worm stays in position a load of crap could do a similar shot on his next turn with that worm that could be the end if he can sort of position that rocket in between the worm and the barrel but of course it's gonna it's gonna be very dependent on the wind conditions for that one to pan out Deathwish trying to scale the left hand side here it didn't quite work i think we're gonna see a bit of terraforming here with a grenade it's, it's a safer option if he pulled out the bazooka there i think he would have taken some damage so using the grenade just lofting it in the air and trying to get it to rest on that uh, geometry with a low timer is definitely the safer way to do it because the explosion happens a lot higher um above you rather than if you'd have gone for the grenade or the bazooka it would have been nearer to yourself. A load of crap now doing what I suggested uh, a few turns ago now, trying to just take out that roll of turf and give himself a better angle at shots. So maybe the next time around that worm is going to actually get into play. Deathwish here with the wind with him. Is he going to go for the lower worm here and try and open up that area? Or is he going to go for... I don't think he's got an angle on the high worm. The wind will push that bazooka shot down. So I think we're going to have to see a an attempt here on the lower worm. Whether he's going to try and um, excavate some more area on the top, we'll see. But there we go. What a shot. I have got to see that one again. That was <laughs> a phenomenal shot from Deathwish808. First time of asking this worm, and that's all he needed. It was literally a quick lineup, a shot, and it was a direct hit. Just about 42 damage. Uh, the load of crap must have thought that he was really giving that worm an opportunity by taking away that turf. All he did, though, was give Deathwish an open invitation at the attack. Deathwish only needed that one 
invitation and the rest is history what a fantastic shot from Deathwish. i think that has got to be a contender for a shot of the series i mean just absolutely phenomenal here uh, a load of crap there with the cross map bazooka shot there attempting to take out the death wishes worm he gets uh, a half accurate shot there and reduces that worm to 19 damage we're two on one in favor of death wish 808 here um he's still trying to excavate that area it looks like to allow that worm to get higher but um yeah a load of crap with the high ground on the health death wish the high ground with the number of worms This is where a load of crap could bring it down to a 1v1, although he has not got good wind with him at the minute. The wind is two against him. I don't think he's going to go for a bazooka shot. So can he toss a grenade in that little pit where Deathwish's 65 worm is? Let's see. It's up in the air. It's a little bit too far, unfortunately. If there was maybe three seconds, it might have curved back around and gone over to him. But um, he didn't really have an option there with the bazooka. So a grenade toss was the only option. Uh, unfortunately, I actually thought that worm of Deathwish, the 65 worm, was in a pit, but he actually is not because there is a, a, redu a reduction in pixels there. So um, it's just the scenery playing tricks. Deathwish bringing this worm down. He's got four wind with him. I think we could see a cross the map bazooka shot here because uh, you definitely want to take those if you get the wind. Nice shot from Deathwish. Throws the worm back further across to the left hand side of the map there. 13 damage on the worm. But uh, a load of crap's aims are all going to be out now. Not only has he moved, but the Death Wishes worm that he was attacking on the high right has moved. But he has got some win with him this time with the bazooka shot. So we can maybe, if he can get his angles right, this is where we could see the 1v1 scenario coming up. He pulls out the bazooka. Can he get the angle and the power correct? Let's see. I think it needs to be a tad lower. He has just adjusted lower. So let's see how this one pans out. Just over three minutes left on the match timer. Sudden death is still a big possibility here. He's dropped his worm down for a better angle here. And unfortunately, he is six hit points too short. Only 13 damage on that one. So, um, you have to say, a load of craps worm here on the left-hand side is now in a very dangerous position. I don't think Deathwish, though, can still get out of this hole. He's trying, and there we go. That is what Deathwish has been really wanting to do with this worm. Allows him now to bring him into the into the game to attack that left hand worm of a load of crap. A load of crap, though. He looks like he's got win with him. Can he now finally finish off this far right worm of Deathwish and bring it down to a 1v1 match? The rocket shot is good. Anything remotely close is good. It is remotely close. It's 28 damage. And we are down to a one-on-one, -on -one, actually in favor of a load of crap, looking at the worm's health here. All that hard work of Deathwish of getting this worm now finally paying off. He's pretty much going to have an open shot here at a load of crap's worm. I don't think a load of crap is going to get dropped into any water here. But, uh, we Let's see, stranger things have happened. It's actually too low. Deathwish could have done with the uh, slightly higher angle brings his worm back down off that pedestal um so he's not leaving himself vulnerable to the next attack from a load of crap i think we're gonna have to see a grenade shot here i don't think a bazooka shot is gonna cut it excuse me but uh like I was alluding to in his previous turn, he's brought the worm down, and that's left him very vulnerable. He has no way to get back up into that higher left area, and he can't really spend any time trying to loft grenades up there to get himself down. The grenade is overpowered, and we're not going to see any movement on the health there. But uh, yeah, he's certainly left that worm in a very vulnerable position indeed. Um, it's not the best place to be stuck on a ledge like that. Let's see what Deathwish can do. Can he drop the worm down? He has four wind. I think he just needs a higher angle here. Again, he goes too low, which is um, interesting. Sure, he's going to be uh, quite annoyed with that shot, so to speak. Can a load of crap learn from mistakes? He's pulled out the uh, bazooka this time. The wind is not as strong against him, so this could work very well indeed 
just over a minute left in regulation time here. I think Sudden Death is going to be on the cards. That's a good shot. He drops him down to the mine. Is that it? Is that it? It is, and a load of crap takes the game. Just as I was saying, I think we're going to go to Sudden Death. A load of crap with the rocket shot onto the mine. A great way to finish off the first match tonight. Welcome back to the action here for match number two between Deathwish808 and a load of crap. We have got the pond scenario so we can expect some all-out carnage to ensue as a load of crap here getting us underway on the right side of the map. Wisely getting his worm here away from all of those three explosive barrels on top of that brolly. But what will he do here? I think he's going to backflip onto the side of that bottle and then... Uh, See if he can cause some carnage on Death Wish's Worm here. There is uh, potential here for um, damaging himself, but let's see how the shot pans out. He's got the bazooka out, almost down to 10 on the clock. He's going to up and down it, maybe. No, he's a bit undecided. He's actually going for a cross-map shot. It's slightly too low, though, unfortunately. He can't knock Death Wish's Worm into the drink. But a load of crap there with the lemon damage getting us underway in this map. Like I say, it was probably a wise move because there is a lot of explosive barrels around in that lower right-hand side. And I don't think he would have been able to easily have um, caused any damage without taking some himself. Deathwish here switching out to the bazooka and uh, embedding his worm nicely down in this little alcove here i think we're going to see a retaliation shot here lovely shot onto the bowel onto the the bottle um pretty much eradicating that whole area the sets off all of the barrels at the same time none of the worms though surprisingly are either dead or in the drink so um that certainly made things interesting on that lower right hand side of the map good good shot though from Deathwish. although his worm was uh included in it there was three worms of damage right there Back with a load of crap now on the left-hand side of the map. What are we going to see here? It's going to be a grenade up and down, I think, just to try and get a grenade to roll down into this area. It unfortunately hits the top of that barrel. I think what he was trying to do is get it to hit that barrel and roll back towards Deathwish's mine, uh, worm, sorry, and that would have caused a um, an absolute onslaught there. Deathwish here has the potential, though, to get rid of uh, one of a load of crap's worms if he can knock him down with the bazooka here. He's probably going to do a fire damage. There we go. The fire damage. Both worms are down is that going to be enough that's big damage on that 71 worm if one of those is dead i think all three of them i think though by the skin of its teeth a load of craps worm has survived with one health but uh, yeah that would have been catastrophic for the other two worms down there i think all three would have died if um one had have got the death animation there a load of crap here back on the left hand side taking the worm high I'm going to see a cross map shot attempt to attack uh, Deathwish's high right worm here. Let's see if he can get the angle. He's definitely got the wind. It's going to be a great assistance. Doesn't necessarily need all the power. It's going to rainbow across a little bit low, but does manage to cause the damage there of uh, 16 hit points. And um, it's a good start for attacking that worm. Still four on four. Um, surprisingly, you have to say, though, the... Uh, the mines and the barrels weren't in the um, worst of situations. They could have certainly been a lot worse. Great curved shot there from Deathwish. It's like out and back in. Um, slightly below, but close enough to cause a significant amount of damage. I think maybe he was also trying to maybe dislodge that mine on top of that roll of turf there. Wasn't able to do it, but uh, a very good shot from Deathwish nonetheless. What will a load of crap do here, though? Will he take uh, the suicide here? Will he throw in a grenade or a bazooka just to clear out those two worms drop it to a three on three or has he got something else in plan he's trying to climb up this right hand side give himself a bit more harm i don't think it's going to work though unfortunately my friend you can backflip all day but i don't think you're going to get up there i may be wrong as i have been before i think he's going to go though for the worm on the other side of the map by the brolly he is going to spare his own worms good shot there 
catches the barrel. The barrel is alight. I don't think the barrel explosion, though, is going to affect that worm's health, does it? No. And it was only nine damage. I thought that was a really good shot, but um, looking at the damage, Deathwish very, very lucky there to get away with that with only nine damage. Back to the high worm here with Deathwish 808. Is he going to just call it a day for his own worm down there? Has he even seen his own worm down there? That's interesting, but... Um, there we go. Both of those worms are dead. His own worm takes a drink. A load of craps worm is dead from the damage, and we are three on three. A load of craps worm there on the lower right, though, has nowhere to go towards the left. There is just a plume of water there. He is not going to be able to uh, maneuver about too much uh, in this match. Back on the left-hand side of the map here with a load of craps, lower left worm. Don't think he's going to want to move him down because I think that fall damage would end the turn prematurely. Uh, the wind is against him for a bazooka shot. Let's see what he's going to try and do here. It almost looks like he's going to try and attack this lower worm here on top of this brolly. Not really sure what he will do though. I don't know if he was going for some sort of momentum with the shot through the wall to try and push the worm into the water it didn't work out though and um, no damage is taken from Deathwish 808 this time around he then has uh, the same worm I think he's probably going to end this worm on the right hand side here of a load of crap he does indeed there we go he is in the drink and it is down to a three on two situation A load of crap hasn't really got much movement option though on this left hand side of the map. Like I say, I think if he drops down, A, it will end his chill prematurely. But now that there is a mine there as well, his previous turn has unfortunately placed that mine there. Good shot, good cross map shot from a load of crap. Deathwish with the suction cups though, sticking onto that ledge. But yeah, a load of crap. He kind of shot himself in the foot, even if he. Um, was willing to take a bit of damage to fall down there and get himself a bit of a better position. He has put that mine there now, and uh, that is not a good situation to be in at all. So we'll have to see how this pans out. Deathwish with this worm here, though, I don't think this worm is going to be able to do much. The wind is completely going the wrong way, and there is no way in that I can see possible to get a bank shot. He may try, though. He's going to switch out to the grenade. Let's see what he's going to do. 20 left on the shot clock. And he's going to try and get it to come straight down, possibly. Let's see. Ten seconds left. And that is damaging yourself, my friend. That was not a very helpful shot, although it does bring the worm down and back into a bit more contention of some more shots. So maybe Deathwish there with that worm playing a long game, because... Let's face it, where a load of crap's worms are, they're not really going to be able to attack that worm on the high left for Deathwish 808. So maybe a strategic play. Let's uh, see how this one pans out and um, whether or not a load of crap can do anything about that worm there. Goes for the lower left worm there. He is pretty much protected by all the scenery around him. 21 damage though, almost half of a full shot. So uh, that's going to be um, encouraging for a load of crap. Definitely, it's definitely opened up a way that he could potentially, if he can get the angle and the timing and the power right, he could roll a grenade down there and potentially end that worm's life. But um, we'll see what he does next time around. We've got the other worm on the right-hand side here for Deathwish with the wind totally with him. It's going to be a cross-map bazooka shot. It's up in the air, it's over across, and that is hitting your own worm, buddy. That is not what you wanted to do. Um, 20 damage, though, is not the worst. And it takes away a little bit more of that scenery around the worm. So let's see what a load of crap's going to do here. I think he might switch it out to... Yeah, I think he's still got the bazooka out. So he's got to be careful not to hit his own worm here. That's a good shot. Just slightly um, overpowered and lands a little bit to the right of that worm. If it landed to the left, I think we would have seen the end of that worm. But uh, he lives to fight another day. And Deathwish's worm is... I was going to say he's pretty stranded, but he's not. He's able to get up on this left-hand side. And I think we're going to see a bazooka shot straight at these two. This could uh, have big impact on a load of crap. Let's see. 
There we go. It falls down onto the mine, and I think that's going to reduce it to a three-on-one. It certainly does. A load of crap with it all to do here. He only has one worm with 52 health. Let's see what he can do. The only sort of saving grace here for a load of crap is that that mine has now been cleared below. So if he wanted to take the risk, he could actually um, get his worm down there. I think we're going to see, though, clearing off this worm here. He is. He's in the water. We are now at two on one. It's a good shot because it's the worm above him who to go next. And Deathwish doesn't really have a shot on here. I think he could potentially put a grenade, though, to this right, uh, left hand side. Um, and he could move his worm all the way to the right and hope for a bit of um, impact damage like through the walls. Let's see what he goes for. I think that is what he's going to do. He's trying to get up high. I don't think he's going to get up high. I don't think there's enough pixels quite there, Deathwish. Halfway through the turn, though. And eight minutes left on the match timer. He did manage to get up. It goes to show how much I know. And he's just going to skip the turn. And I think... If I'm reading this match in the way it's going to go correctly, I think we're going to end up with a um, left side of the map warfare here. I don't think. I think a load of crap has got a pretty open shot at the worm on the right. And then we're just going to be left with these two worms on the left. Let's see how it pans out, though. 52 worm on the left to shoot at the 52 worm on the right. Don't think there is a scope here for it to fall in the water. He's far enough back on the right. Let's see, he narrows down, though, that platform that Deathwish's Worm is stood on, which is going to help in subsequent turns to potentially drop him down into the water. But uh, just the 11 damage that time around. Let's see what Deathwish can do in the retaliation, though. He's got the wind against him, so I think he's going to have to swap this out to a grenade. He does indeed. Which makes things quite awkward. I think he's going to want a relatively low timer here to try and get the grenade to explode when parallel. There's no ledges that he can really aim to try and get a grenade to stick on. Let's see how this pans out. It was a short timer, but unfortunately, it was a little bit too low. Just the angle a bit higher, and you might have got something there, Deathwish. But um, again, the retaliation is now on for a load of crap here. He's going to do a cross-the-map shot. Looks like the wind is completely with him as well, a four-wind this could be the shot that brings it down to the one on one. Let's see how it pans out. Yeah, now we got some really weird stuff. Now, now the fucking wind is with me. It's always with me when you get the wrong. Direct hit from a load of crap. The worm is sliding. No amount of suction cup is going to save you, though, Deathwish. Your worm is completely out of here. We are down to a one on one contest with these two worms on the left hand side of the map as I kind of alluded to a few moments ago is Deathwish just going to jump rope or is he going to take a turn he's switching out to a grenade as we can see let's see what he can do with this grenade he's taking away some pixels trying to open up an area here to attack a load of crap what's a load of crap going to do though he could take the risk and, and drop himself down it would put him in a vulnerable position but I definitely don't think he's got any real shot here to take on Deathwish He's too close to the um, he's too close to that little scenery area above him. Um, he will take damage if he hits that with a bazooka. One second on the grenade, potentially just going to loft this up. Yeah, too far though. He's too close to that scenery, and I don't think that was ever going to um, get rid of any of it like he really wanted it to. But uh, the game of chess has certainly uh, started here between the two players. Deathwish with another bazooka round. Maybe just going to try and shoot one out and hope that it comes back. It kind of it had the right idea. I just don't think he's got enough angle there to get the rocket out and up high enough for a start for it to uh, curve back round to take out that scenery. So I don't think that's going to help. Let's see what a load of crap's going to do here. Did he learn anything from his previous turn? Sticking with the one second timer on the grenade. I still don't think he's going to... Yeah, he's still not got enough of an angle there to reach that scenery above him. So, unfortunately, I think it's going to be down to Deathwish to take away this that, that ceiling scenery. Oh, Deathwish just looks like he's digging a pit and trying to dig for water. 
the wind's just really not with them, given their angles. Um, I don't really know how this is going to pan out, to be fair. How how are the, the, dead, the deadlock is going to be broken. Both players have an idea, but they're really in the stalemate. So, a load of crap here. He's going to try something different. He's got the wind going towards Death Wish Worm, so the rocket should come back in. If he can avoid that scenery, the rocket should just curve back in towards Death Wish's Worm. Let's see what happens here, though. Could leave himself completely open and vulnerable, though, to Death Wish's next attack. And he could potentially take splatter damage himself. Almost 10 left on the clock. Five on the match clock. Got to hurry this shot along now. Obviously, he's going to run it out of time. There we go. It's up. It doesn't curve back enough, though. And he hits himself. Is that the game? He survives with two damage. Death Wish, though, now has a completely different option. Um... As we've seen in the last couple of games, he has been able to bend them rocket shots down, but he can now freely bring his worm down. We're going to see a simple grenade toss in the air straight back down. Five seconds to add for the drama, and I think this is going to be game. Deathwish 808, the grenade is up. It's bounced. It's next to a load of crap. That is going to be it. Game to Deathwish 808, making tonight's series 1-1 one and one with... Um, some pretty interesting plays there. It was very difficult for everybody to um, actually get where they wanted to go there. But um, let's head on over to the final game. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. It is the final match of the night between Deathwish and a load of crap. We are in another pond scenario. And just take a look at all of those explosive goodies on the lower right-hand side of the map. You've got to say, something yeah. catastrophic looks like it could happen over there. Anyway, let's see what happens. A load of crap here to get us underway. I think he's just going to fire a bazooka up at this worm directly above him on the bottle. See if he can uh, get him to uh, reposition himself, so to speak. Let's see what uh, happens here. The shot is up in the air. The worm is up in the air, but lands on the bottle. A load of crap wisely moves his worm to the left into safety a maximum damage there to the thrush worm to get us underway the thrush now with his lower worm here on the left hand side i think we were gonna see an attack at the lower end of this brolly here with this bazooka could potentially get rid of two worms the bounce shot and would you believe it, both of a load of crap's worms have gone. He's taken 40 damage, but luckily the wind was going against that lower right worm and blows the fire away from him. Deathwish takes an early four on two advantage here, which is um, absolutely phenomenal. But I, I did say at the, the top of this map that that looked a very, very tasty area for explosives, proving right there. Um, luckily though, Deathwish's worm wasn't catapulted back further to the right on top of those mines or else we could have seen um, three worms, a three worm casualty right there. But uh, let's see what a load of crap can do here in retaliation. He's put a grenade over there. That could be uh, dangerous. That is very dangerous. Sends his worm into the drink four on one after just three shots in this match. Just goes to show how quickly these pond matches can get turned on their head and things can go out of control. you got to say, Deathwish here is looking to finish the February series really, really strong indeed. What can he do here? I think a grenade toss. Just a, There's a nice little opening to get a grenade in there. What can he do? Let us see. Just thinking about it. There goes the grenade. A little bit short and it's into the water. But, um, yeah, I think this is the first time that uh, after four shots, we are down to one worm uh, in a match so far in this series. I'd say so far, it is the final match of the series. Hope you've enjoyed this February series, by the way, guys. Um, let me know in the comments um, your favorite shots and favorite moments from the series so far. Um, we're be getting underway with the march series really soon so again if you want to get involved in that please do let us know death wishes worm is going to be dead there the fire damage there sees to that and we are down to a three on one here load of crap with the nice grenade shot there just enough damage there to send death wishes worm to its slimy end 
Uh, Death, back with Death Wish here on the right hand side of the map. Uh, unless he can scale this right side here anymore. Uh, I think he's going to be limited on his shots here. He probably has got enough angle to get a bazooka shot out there. It should come down nicely. The only thing he's got to be wary of is that fire barrel above his worm on the left hand side there. Switching out to a grenade. Can't decide what the time is going to be. It's going to be five seconds. But yeah, just has to be careful of that barrel above his worm. He catches that little lip, which isn't so much a bad thing. No worms are going to unintentionally get damaged for Deathwish. And it actually frees up that geometry for that worm's next turn. A load of crap here with the left. I think what we're going to see, though, is a... Shoot, the wind is really... It looks like he's got good wind. <coughs> Excuse me. It looks like he's going to do a... I thought he might go for the Broly Worm here, just try and get rid of him. He's lowering the shot, so it does look like what he is going to do. If you get a shot just above this worm, it should push him into the drink. There could be explosion assist there. We are going to get explosion assist with the mine. The worm is in the drink, and that is out of here. I think there was something else explosive down there as well. We are back to two on one. A load of crap is coming back in this map. After looking so... The situation was looking very, very bleak for a start. And that is going to come down on Deathwish's worm if he's not careful. It does get rid of that little alcove. Man, that fire is burning quickly. It looks like, though, Deathwish is going to be safe with that worm for the time being. But what it does mean, though, is a load of crap can now scale the golf balls and potentially drop that worm into the drink and bring it down to a one-on-one. -on -one. And after the craziest that's the craziness that started in this map, I, re I generally wasn't expecting this. Going to toss a grenade down there by the looks of it. Doesn't really need to be too close. It was 42, relatively close in the end. And we are one on one. And just like that, in terms of health, a load of crap is back on top in this match. Could the comeback be on? Deathwish there still playing around with the scenery. Although he took some out on that previous Worms turn, he just didn't take enough. And that was a little bit too that was a little bit too much power, unfortunately, for Deathwish. And that grenade just plummets to the bottom of the ocean. The wind is with a load of crap here though. Are we gonna see a grenade or a bazooka shot? Let's see. He's got a grenade in his hand at the minute. He's sticking with the grenade by the looks of it. Change it to a five second timer. It's probably a smart idea. He's got a big opening to aim for there. Especially with a longer timer, it can rattle around in that opening. There we go, it's in there. That's going to cause a substantial amount of damage to a Deathwish's worm. Now, Deathwish has no way of climbing up that right wall. Don't think he can get up the left either. And his worm is looking ever more in trouble here. Let's see what he can do. I really think he should try a bazooka shot here. I think he's got enough. As long as he powers it just right, he can get it up and out of there with enough height to get over to a load of crap. Of course, it's easy for me to say sat here in the commentary box. And after recent performances of myself in Worms, I really am no one to speak. But um, it's almost like when, when you are watching these games and trying to anticipate what's happening, you feel like a bit of an expert and know what's going to happen. The grenade is up. It's going to hit the ceiling. And uh, that is not going to do any damage whatsoever. He could have even bazooka shot to, uh, that little area at the top there. Just to um, kind of give himself a better angle next time around. I think we're going to see a repeat here though from a load of crap. Another grenade shot I think will end up uh, in that where Deathwish is. This time Deathwish's worm is lower down though. And that is pretty much going to be a 45 hit. Leaving that worm on 14 health. Sorry, 13 with the extra fall damage as well. Deathwish now does have the ability to fire a shot at a load of crap and get a grenade in there. But you've got to think with 100 health, this game is all for a load of crap to take. Which would be a positive end to this uh, February series, given Deathwish had that um, romp away moment um, not so long ago. Grenade again hits the bottle and is in the drink, and I think this could be the finale right here. A load of crap could take the evening two games to one if he can just compose himself and uh, get the shot off here. The wind is with him. Is he going to stick with the grenade or is he going to switch it out to the bazooka? He's going to switch it out to the bazooka. That's a bit of variance because obviously you have to get your angles right, but let's see. 
The angle set up. The power's up. That is game. It hits Deathwish. A load of crap takes the final set of games. Two games to one. Which um, should lower his deficit overall in this championship. And uh, let's... With the action done, let's take a look at the league table. A fitting end there to the February series with a load of crap taking the win tonight. Overall, two matches to Death Wishes 1 reduces the final deficit to just 18 points when there was 21 going into this one. But as we said before, Deathwish was crowned the overall champion in the previous night's matches. There was no way that a load of crap could unfortunately have come back into this one. Thank you very much, everybody who has watched and supported the February series. We'll be back real soon with a brand new March series. And I hear that the first few matches are quite tasty. So... Uh, We'll bring them to you very, very soon indeed. But once again, thank you very much for supporting this series. And until next time, goodbye.